Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dawn Baker and I'm Mike Sela. Two former nine line apparel employees are dead. Police are now investigating how this all came about. Savannah Hilton Head International Airport police say a 28 year old woman's body was found in a car outside of the Doubletree Hotel last Tuesday. Then shortly after the shooting suspect was found dead in the parking lot of nine line apparel. Tonight we are speaking with family members of the victim. WTOC's Shay Schrader joins us now from the live desk with just what they had to say. Well, Don, as you can imagine, the family of Madeline Coulter is, of course, shocked and saddened by her death. They say they just don't understand why this happened. Senseless. This is senseless. It doesn't make sense to us. Madeline Coulter's boss first reported her missing on July 12th, according to police documents, saying Coulter, quote, had not shown up for work today and this was not like her to not call taking a personal day, end quote. Police went to her apartment and on her cell phone found text messages from her ex-boyfriend, 41-year-old Zachary Scalf, about him, quote, wanting her to meet him at a place they had talked about meeting over a phone call. That place was not known or texted about in the text messages, end quote. Police had been looking for Coulter for hours when they found her dead from a gunshot wound in the parking lot of a hotel near the airport. Her family is devastated. Our breath has been just sucked out of us. Scalf was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound that same day at Nine Line Apparel, where he used to work. Police say before he died, he posted a video to social media saying, quote, he has done something horrible that can never be forgiven, that he is sorry for the people he hurt, and that he loves everyone. Coulter's family say they wish he had reached out to somebody for help. There's so many other things to do than to take the life of someone who has nothing to do with you. Her family adds they just don't understand why this happened, saying he was the one that ended the relationship with Coulter. She was happy. She was getting on with her life. She was in a very good place. And he took it away from her. Coulter's family remembers her as not just a loving mother and aunt, but also as a hero. She did her time in the military. She did it well. She was a trooper. She 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 uh, she loved her country. Yep, yeah, and and she she did everything that was expected of her, and even more. And she broke some boundaries, and and she was proud of that. And they say they'll also remember her joy for life. She was amazing. She was funny. She was very funny. She loved life. Smiling. She was always smiling and it didn't matter the situation. She would make light of it. Coulter's family tells me that she leaves behind a son who they are so upset has to carry the weight of his mother's death. Reporting in Savannah, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Well, the company Coulter used to work for, uh, Blue Force Gear, released a statement at, to WTOC. It says in part, quote, she was an amazing employee, teammate, mother, and friend. After serving her country with the U.S. Army, she continued to care for the troops with her work on our team. Maddie was a rising star with a very bright future. Nine Line Apparel in Savannah also releasing a statement about the deaths. You can find that on our website, WTOC.com.